and uh, you know Eddie's very confident that he's going to win this tournament uh, uh, over the years and uh, and check it off along with all the other majors. But uh, and Junior, same thing. But there's probably a lot more pressure on Junior at this point in time because uh, he has been the top player the last couple of years, but he does not have a victory in this event. And so the I expectation that is that he should win this at some point. Yeah, there, there's definitely a level of expectation for him for sure. And uh, did it with Mike Taylor, and those are the guys that have been number one and two, uh, uh, and, and Kelly uh, over the last uh, ten or twelve years. But Kelly's, Kelly's won this tournament. Ke Kelly's a two-time winner. And, yeah, two-time winner. That's so. yeah. He sits at go. the champions table. Uh, yeah, talk a little bit about that. How's that? Uh, well, uh, well, before another, we go there, another clean board, uh, clean board deuce. Both uh, players uh, lagging well. So there's a uh, champions dinner for the pros. Um, here in town, you invite all the uh, top. Uh, it's actually the previous winners of the pro singles and okay. doubles, and uh, kind of an idea that was somewhat copied from the Masters tournament, which uh, Champions Dinner is a, is a huge affair there. Okay. Um, when I first started it, uh, I really wanted it to be a singles only because that would have made it a just a even a more exclusive. super elite event. But sure. uh, the singles was dominated for so long by Bill and Daryl that the list of, <laughs> of people who had ever won it was You'd so have small it wouldn't have made it much of a dinner and <laughs> just some of them passed four away. Top at the, uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now that's a great thing that you do for the, um, you know, for the top players. Uh, you know, a lot of times uh, shuffleboard players are, are punished by playing well because <laughs> then they have to play better competition and they have to play for more money and the but, expenses uh, are higher. And the expenses yeah, yeah. are higher, but uh, you know it's nice that when you get to the top level and you do actually uh, achieve success, that uh, you're recognized for it. And uh, you know there's there's some uh, you know light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. Uh, some great tra uh, trash talking after we get a few bottles deep. Uh, oh, I into the wine or cocktails. It starts out a little conservative, but by uh, by night's end. Yeah, I'd There's love a, to be a fly on the wall. There's some uh, <laughs> chest thumping going on here. <laughs> well, here we go. And what continues to be a very conservative match. Yeah, looks like uh, Junior, Daniel, uh, Junior, Junior was trying to put a the, shallow deuce up there, but he didn't quite well, get there. I know. I'm thinking that maybe that's the spot he thought that Eddie wanted to lag into. Okay. Maybe even more than shallow deuce. Or maybe it was going to either be a shallow deuce News in that spot, one. you know, shallow. Agreed. But along the along the track that he thought Eddie might want to lag in, and actually I, I believe Eddie did come in from just left to center last time, or right across the center. So that that did push him out to a different lane, perhaps a faster one, but definitely a different one. Notice uh, both players <coughs> shooting hard and uh, tracking the board up there and trying to, uh, you know, fix the uh, fix the dry spots there. That's uh, that's got to come into play later in this game, huh? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, well, here we go. Our first pass good. shot of the match. It looks like a good one. It may open up the floodgates and give us uh, some of the high quality entertainment we're hoping for out of this match. So he shoots Jimmy a stick trying to make the double. Nice shot. It feels good enough about it to shoot at uh, slow speed and uh, try and stick it, which he did. So awesome. We got some action. Junior, very, very comfortable with this board. Yeah, I think that he's going to try and roll this in behind the other way, but he just flat out missed it. Wow. <laughs> David trying to put some over there cover on it. Stayed over there. And actually, it looked like it went to the rail a little bit at the end. Based on the way Eddie's, Eddie's miss was, it looked like there was... Maybe more break there than what, what he anticipated. But that break apparently comes later. Well, this is well, a tricky uh, little shot here, but. Yeah, I, uh, I would think if you're going to try that, it's going to have to be some kind of firm speed. That's, wow. Yeah, this almost looks like a money game, not a uh, tournament game right here, huh? Yeah, yeah. Well, oh. that uh, that might still be available. You got be a heck of a shot, but it looks like there's room to. I think well, I would probably Eddie's shoot gonna a finger shot this. if I was going to do that. But I think he's going to. Oh. Oh. Ooh. oh my wow. goodness! Yeah, Eddie well, just, just the, uh, does not look comfortable right now. That'll be uh, obviously. Uh, 
tough to recover from this game. I've seen stranger things happen, but. Uh, Absolutely, and you know, really at, at this point in time, you know, you're not, you, chances are you're not gonna have a five or six or seven point frame off a of junior. Well, you just gotta make sure you lag a three right here. Not when he throws the first one off. I mean, he throws yeah. the first one off because uh, what he's playing defense, right? Yeah, he's he's not going to give uh, any chance for there to be a weight on the board that he could get around, and he'll just hit right. this and try he's and go probably. Uh, he didn't, so I'm expecting Eddie to probably bump this or set right on top of it. Can't tell how, quite how deep it is yet. Looks like a middle deuce. It's kind of what I was thinking. Oh, oh yeah, not he's even gonna, a, he's not gonna, even. He's going to want to bump yeah, he's that tap that up. Yeah, or flat out go around it. Yeah. All right. Well, he would have preferred that the blue weight stay on the board, but at least there's a deuce there now. Junior's got to cover it up, and uh, if he doesn't, Eddie's given himself an opportunity to <laughs> stick it, pass it, something. But when you're behind this much, you know, you really need to have some weights on the board, and th there's an opportunity. If he just makes a good shot and rolls in behind it, and potentially he gets a hammer with two working. No, he's you know. going around it. He must yeah. like that pass shot. Well. Hmm. You know, one thing uh, I noticed from a player's perspective this year is that it it seems like the boards are playing a little flatter than they have in years past. I'm not sure if that's, is that on purpose? Oh, I actually or thought is that, that they were that they were more curved than usual. No, I've noticed, uh, you know, I mean, not that they're playing bad because, you know, if they're crowned, obviously they're playing bad, but they're playing good. But there are definitely some areas where, you know, you freehand a weight to the rail. And it's, I mean, you've seen Eddie now dump a couple off the side. They don't catch the rails, I think, like they have in years past. Uh, we we keep them set at pretty much the same uh, uh, twelve thousandths low center in the middle and fourteen thousandths over the next set of legs and sixteen at the ends. Okay, which, which is not a lot by by tournament standards. I've always wanted uh, for this tournament for people to have to really make a high quality shot to make a pass shot. Some boards are too automatic for my taste these days. But with the climate here, you know they do get flat. As the week goes on, every, every, we actually adjust these at, at least every other day. Okay. So as so the week goes on, they flatten out more than. Yeah. If you. Oh, yeah. Much more than than uh, most places because of the desert environment. Okay. Um, weather is. Weather doesn't really affect tables as much as the the humidity, which tends to be more of a constant condition. So. Uh, out here in the desert, uh, if we took these tables out of storage where they're in a very high humidity environment, they're probably 40 thousandths of an inch low in the center versus the size. And if we just let that board sit for the couple weeks that we're out here and didn't do anything with it, it would be easily 40 thousandths high centered by the end of the week. It would move that much. Wow. So we go through at least every other day with the gauges and bring the... Uh, bring out the wrenches uh, and, and, uh, and... Yeah, get them back up to to where they're supposed to be. Well, looks like at this point, uh, Eddie's just trying to get a feel for the table and well, what else is get something very, going here. What else is very, very important right now is I believe that Junior had the first hammer. I believe he did. I, I'm thinking he did too, which means Eddie would get the first hammer the next game. At this point in time, you're probably not going to win. You want to, you probably have a decision, already decided which end you think that you like to lag better. And uh, so that's where you want the game to end. They're going to they're gonna want the game to end there. Right. Right. This no is sense obviously. Of being, down, being down one game and lagging on the, and having the, on the wrong on the, end. On the wrong end. Right. This is obviously a two out of three match. So yep. first player to win two games. <clears throat> Oh, David's just going to play a good, safe, uh, defensive game here. Being on 14, he just needs one point to go out. Yep, so he'll be hitting everything hard, uh, making sure he doesn't stick any of the weights. Might stick that in it because he's thinking he can't get in trouble, which is always a dangerous thought. And 
he's certainly going to set right up on this if he can. Meaning he's going to be either touching it or just short. Or, or wow. That's just, well, ordinarily in that situation, you'd see someone put one basically up there touching it if they could. And I think uh, that, was his fourth, chance to, uh, that was his fourth weight, so he was probably uh, going to try to stick okay. it. He obviously doesn't have a good feel for the board right now. So Junior probably lags off more than anybody in the game, and he'll tell you that. But <clears throat> that's because he's pushing for threes and fours all the time. Here we go. We got a little action now. Junior playing a short weight. Eddie going around it. And here we go. Back to ground zero. Yep. Both players not giving away too much. Looks to be a small deuce. I can see Junior would love to have one there on his last weight. Well, right now Eddie's saying to himself, I'm down one leg. If I leg yep. a deuce, I'm tied. If I leg a three, I'm in the lead. Yeah, that, that's a spot that you never really want to stick that weight. Uh, maybe if it's 14-14, but you don't want to give a guy a chance to stick a weight back right. that, that, that's that close to a deuce either. Want a clear board or something back of there. There was just no advantage to stick of that weight for sure. All right, hammer coming. Looks like the speed's good. It's going to hit a that. Little heavy. Oh, I think he might have been aiming for that dry lane there and thinking that it was going to pull up. And this is about uh, where the uh, game got away from him last game. You know, he was, I think he was down five to two, and then all of a sudden he was down. 10 to 2. So, you know, this is a critical point in the game where he can't let this game get away from him. He's, uh, you know, he's got to do something to get back in this game. Which, you know, he's still only, like I said last frame, one frame down. Um, like yourself for two or three, we're all good. Um, you know, and, and obviously the, the professional level players rely on their their hammer and their lag, and uh, we haven't seen a whole lot of lagging uh, with the hammer in, in, in this match. So, you know, I wonder if it's just, uh, you know, maybe the well, players say, not. Uh, you know, the first match of the day, you know, they've been sitting around. Yeah. Uh, you know, since this morning, so generally plays not quite as, uh, quite as good first match of the day, but... Um, This is really, you know, this has been a pretty close match except for one frame that, you know, really blew the last game wide the, open. Like I say, that, uh, neither one of them really doing, uh, you know, a lot. Uh, Junior's just taking advantage of, you know, some mistakes here. But, well, he scored, but that's, that's really not what he was uh, hoping for there. No, he's hoping to get a deuce or a three there to get this game a little bit closer. Expect more of the same. Both guys just sticking that weight back and forth. If that happens, Junior probably, well, we'll never find out. Junior's going to take a practice lag here because he does have the hammer, so he wants to get a feel for the end of the board. Yep. And big one down there. That he's yeah, driving that into a deuce. Looks like you made that a deuce. Could be interesting. We'll have our overshot here, overhead shot here momentarily, I would think. Nope. 
Okay. Now it's a three. Now what do you do here? Do you stick it? And uh, uh, you, you, I don't see how you can possibly stick that. If you think you might be able to move it over the corner. That'd be a good shot. Uh, well, yeah, you, he well, obviously uh, wants to test Junior a little bit, try to switch the hammer here. Well, if Junior sticks it, that is not a tragedy. You know, giving up uh, you pretty much his space. right on it. Two points or more. If he rolls it, though. Wow. Okay. He's just too comfortable right now. All right, here we go. Wow. Well, that pulled up a little bit, huh? Yeah, the board's definitely getting chewed up from the, from that blasting. You see how many tracks there are. So, got himself a little break there, but we'll see. Oh, here we go. We got some action now. Oh. Well, this Eddie's is uh, this is tough. I mean, he really. I don't know if he could cover that weight. Or he, I, I don't think you want to. Uh, although that looks what he's looks like what he's going to do. He uh, thinks that weight's going to stay on that uh, rail there and not come out. Yeah. Although if he puts this, you know, in a spot where Junior can hit it but not stick it, then he has a chance to stick the other one and have a, a one of the three working. Uh, Junior's going to go to that free hand of his. Wow. Nice shot. But there you go. He didn't stick it, so he's got a chance to have a one and a two working. And uh, you could roll that to a three. He probably would like to. It's, not, gonna, it's not really going to be hidden. It'd be open regardless of what he does. But that, that's a good spot there because if Junior sticks it back, then Eddie's got a lot of room to roll it. I think he wanted to move it the other way. Obviously. Uh, well, I don't know if he did or not, because even if he does, it's going to be wide open from all vantage points from Junior. That, that back weight is too far back for it to really have been hidden behind. I, I think that Eddie might have wanted to go over there. Give him a little different look than what he's yeah. seen. Ten to three, and you can tell Eddie's really frustrated right now. the match he was hoping for uh, before they started. Yeah, it just looks like he's got the wrong set of weights for this this match. He's pretty consistently. Yeah, they're either trickling off or uh, pulling up uh, right around that uh, Shuffleboard Federation logo. Yeah, even that one, I don't, I don't think he let that, that one shot that pulled up there just didn't look like he let it go right. The rest of them Really don't look like bad shots. They, uh, his weights just look like they're too fast. Yeah. Well, he's going to try and get one in behind this somehow. Not sure if it'll go in like that. Well, even if it's not dead behind, he's got to get one past it and make Junior make some kind of shot. Yeah, it comes it. all the way out in the open. Yeah, yeah. You really needed for that to be a little bit shorter. You, you, if Junior stick this, sticks this, and you just really made things tough on yourself. If you'd have just barely passed it, and maybe Junior passes it back or shoots a double and doesn't. But you know, if it, when the weight comes wide open like that, it's you really haven't done yourself any favors. He's trying oh, for another leg. Really hard again. Yeah, he's just. <clears throat> yeah, just no feel for the end of the board with those weights. I think uh, I would be willing to bet that he's not. He's th these weights are going back in the case, and uh, he's not going to be using those in his next match. Yeah, and I, and I hope Eddie's uh, got such a bright future in this game. Um, hopefully, he writes the ship a little bit. And maybe we'll catch him tomorrow in uh, a little more characteristic form. And so you have a match coming up in the next round. I do. Do you, uh, do you know who you play yet? Yes, uh, Dave Dickerson Jr., uh, good player out in Nebraska. Uh, I remember when he was a uh, Division Three player and uh, coming up the ranks with uh, one of our locals, uh, Jessica Williams and uh, James Sanchez and, and some of our, our uh, 
local players out of uh, Detroit, Michigan. So, yeah, I remember uh, when he was coming up the ranks, and uh, he's turned into a solid player, very good player. It's kind of cool. He was, uh, like yourself, I remember him when he was a three, and then he went, uh, he was away from the game for a number of years and uh, started back playing uh, seriously on a regular basis and yeah, yeah, he's, became, a, became a good player, definitely. Uh, yeah, he's got some game, uh, had some good mentors, I'm sure, along the way. Jim Payne, um, you know, worked with him a lot, um, you know, and some other, some of those uh, other good Midwest players. Some of those... Uh, I don't want to say underrated uh, Nebraska players. No, uh, no. Well, they're all <laughs> underrated, I think. Yeah. Misrated, <laughs> right. misrated, underrated. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. seems to be... Uh, yeah. Definitely one of the hotbeds for shuffleboard. Agreed. Okay, well, we finally got a few points. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, this is... Uh, David's oh, pretty oh, much in control that. of this match. All I mean, you're doing is fighting for frames here. Yep. You know, you're thinking if I can get one more frame, steal a hammer or hold on to one. Uh, yeah, David's just going to, you know, try to move the chains along here. Uh, you know, he's on 12. He's going to yeah. try to get to 13 and 14. I mean, if he gives up three points every frame and, and scores one, he's going he's gonna to win this game. So he's not trying to do anything fancy here, just... Keep some weights yes, on the board. Nice. Not a big opportunity, but you hit that deuce firm and move it just a little bit. Yeah, it's uh, a tough or, order. Yeah, but, you know, obviously you need a lot of stuff to go right at this point in time. Looks like he's gonna. You know, and that's uh, right there. That's what I was talking about earlier in the in the commentary about. Uh, you know, how I feel like, uh, you know, the boards are playing a little bit flatter this year than they have in years past, where maybe, you know, that weight that Eddie just threw into the rail would have recovered. And this year it doesn't seem to be doing that, um, you know, where they are kind of dumping off the sides a little bit. Not saying anything that that's a bad thing. It's just no, how, no, not it's, just, it it's just how but, the boards, but, it's, you know, that's good players can adjust to the boards and that's, you know, that's what they need to do. Yeah, if you're hitting the rails early, you know, in, in the middle uh, four or five feet of the board, you know that's only twelve thousands high in that area. So there's uh, there's not going to be a lot of snapback.